Oh, the fucking flight won't let me book it online. So I'm just gonna go for the old turn up at the airport and see what fucking happens. What's the worst that could happen? The f when I went out last night, I lost my fucking wallet, ID, bank card, 500 pound, five guys voucher, all gone. So now I'm fucked. I've only got a bank card left that doesn't work. <laughs> I can't seem to get any money onto my Asda bank card that was left in the room. And I'm now officially stuck. Day five, still in Bangkok, bit of a late start today because obviously I'm fucking severely hungover. I'm not too bad, but I was. It's now 2 p.m. so I've been hungover. I've dealt with it, I'm moving on, I'm forgetting about it. <laughs> anyway, so what's the plan today? I'm gonna go to Chiang Mai, okay? That's my only fucking idea I've got. The fucking flight won't let me book it online. So I'm just gonna go for the old turn up at the airport and see what fucking happens. What's the worst that can happen? The flight is in three hours, it's at five. I'm trying to fucking edit. I'm just sat in Burger King and edited for like two fucking hours because the video is so fucking long. I'm absolutely fucked. So come along with me. We're gonna see what Chiang Mai's saying. I've not even looked on a map where it is. I know it's north and that's all I know. Uh, I don't know what's there. I don't know how big it is. I don't know. I've literally not done any fucking reconnaissance on this mission at all, but we're gonna go there. So Scope it out, drop a UAV, do you know what I mean? See what's popping and then we'll go from there, bruv. I'm just gonna book a really nice hotel tonight though. The only problem I've got is it's not near any water or anything. I really wanna go to a fucking beach. Come along, let's see what we're fucking getting up to today. Shout out your mum and your dad. Let's get straight into this bitch. Just quickly though, I wanna talk about last night, right? Because I went to what's called a ping pong show, which <laughs> it's an adult show where a woman strained herself to put a ping pong ball up inside her and then she like, pops it out and it comes at you and they give you a ping pong paddle and you have to hit the balls back like this. <laughs> it was mental. And then they do the thing where, you know when you're a kid, you'd see the magician and pull his handkerchief out his sleeve and it'd just be, keep going forever and ever and ever. That happened. And then what else did she do? There was a string with razor blades on it. I'm not joking. That doesn't sound real, I know, but I thought that. And then I got there and it was real. She also put a uh, cigarette inside her and smoked it. It smoked. I don't know how she did it. It was a superpower. They aren't very good looking girls, okay? But you know what I'm saying? If you've not got the looks, you got to train yourself to put ping pong balls and pop them out. <laughs> Where are the crab? Hello. Oh, very nice. The airport. I've managed to get the ticket online. It was a fucking faffle. But I managed to get the ticket, transfer money over to my new, transfer money over to my bank card and uh, edit my whole video. I've not managed to upload it. That's going to be another issue. I've booked the hotel. I've gone for the cheap one. So I'm saving. I'm going to, when I get to the fucking beach, I'm going to buy a bougie hotel at the beach so I get a fire one. Because I could have got a nice one here and it would have been an extra like 100 quid for three nights. But I thought, well, fuck it. Save the money do better when you get to the fucking islands and all that shit so oh but yeah so cut to me at the fucking airport 500 bar on me and that's it and i've not got a bank card so i can't get any money out i don't know what i'm gonna do when i went out last night i lost my fucking wallet id bank card 500 pound five guys voucher all gone so now I'm fucked. I've only got a bank card left that doesn't work. <laughs> I can't seem to get any money onto my Asda bank card that was left in the room. And I'm now officially stuck. Day five, still in Bangkok. Bit of a late start today because obviously I'm fucking severely hungover. I'm not too bad, but I was. It's now 2 p.m. So I've been hungover. I've dealt with it. I'm moving on. I'm forgetting about it. <laughs> anyway, so what's the plan today? I'm gonna go to Chiang Mai, okay? That's my only fucking idea I've got. The fucking flight won't let me book it online. So I'm just gonna go for the old turn up at the airport and see what fucking happens. What's the worst that can happen? The flight is in three hours, it's at five. I'm trying to fucking edit. I'm just sat in Burger King and edited for like two fucking hours because the video is so fucking long. I'm absolutely fucked. So come along with me. We're gonna see what Chiang Mai's saying. I've not even looked on a map where it is. I know it's north and that's all I know. Uh, I don't know what's there. I don't know how big it is. I don't know. I've literally not done any fucking reconnaissance on this mission at all, but we're gonna go there. So I've got to wait. Look, there's my bag on the CCTV going into the machine. Okay. okay. Good. I finally have to wait. I had, he says, if you, if you, fuck knows what he's on about. I ain't got a clue. Basically, he says I have to watch my own bag go in there. Um, I've not been through security yet. Fuck, honestly, I'm, that's fucking baffled me. What's he on about? He says, have you checked your bag? I said, yeah, I've just checked it in. He says, well, have you made sure it's gone in? I thought, that's your job. That's literally your job to make sure that plane, that fucking bag gets on that plane. What do you want me to do? Oh yeah, I've watched it. I've, I mean, I watched it fucking leave when I fucking was stood there. I then have to watch it on the next screen. What next? Do you want me to fucking follow it all the way like this? 
I walk onto the plane. Yep, it's, it's in the cargo. Let me get on the plane. What are you talking about, you jokers? That's some bizarre. That's, I've been through a lot of airports. That's never happened before. Anyway, back into happy mode. Woo! Right, I made it onto the plane. Didn't manage to get extra legroom or window seat. And it's done next to me. I'm hoping to just be English because he keeps burping, bro. I'm fine. Fine's funny. That's fine. But burping on an airplane is not acceptable, bro. Come on, Dad. Dirty, man. It stinks as well. It's not even like, oh, it's just disgusting in the sand. It's stinking it up, bro. <laughs> Joke. This fucking flight was supposed to leave at 10 past 5 and it's currently 30 past 5 and people are still fucking boarding so I'm not looking forward to this. It's a fucking hound. I don't know why the I don't know if because Asian people are smaller bro but this fucking seat is tiny Dan. I'm fucking barely fitting in. This is pissing me off. But anyway, no moaning in this video. <laughs> Whole video is just me moaning. No, we're gonna enjoy it. When we get to get to Chiang Mai, we're gonna enjoy it. So we're gonna stop the moaning from now. But I've smashed it. The road behind me was empty. So I've managed to get myself my window seat. One of the greatest life pleasures is aeroplane window seats. The sort of people that like aisle seat are not people that I want to be associated with, okay? You must have some sort of a medical condition. How could you not want to look out look over this beautiful earth that we live on oh no I don't want I don't want to have to ask people if I want to go to the toilet how does that outweigh a fucking view of the planet from fucking 36,000 feet that just doesn't make any sense to me anyway I'm buzzing I'm gonna get some editing done now I'm on the plane fucking hell I've not looked at Chiang Mai on the map I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I know it's north but I don't know where it is um, all I know is my hotel is only 500 meters from the center, but I don't know if it's like Bangkok. I don't know how big it is. I don't know anything. We'll see. We're going to find out together. <laughs> and just like that, we're in Chiang Mai, baby. Uh, flying over it, it looked like the fucking smallest town ever. I don't think there was one skyscraper. I think the biggest building I could see was like a, a hotel or something. So I really don't know. But I'm trying to figure out the money problem, right? I think I've managed to get someone at home and we're going to test putting one pound into this account to see if their cards work. Uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to transfer some money and maybe all my issues are going to be resolved. So, I'm, I'm happy again. <laughs> I've booked myself a fucking bolt to the hotel. It cost 99 bar money, which is about £2.50. £2.50, so I'm very close to the hotel. That's how, that's how you know you're in a fucking small town when the fucking airport to the city centre is only like fucking two miles away, bro. That's how you know this place is fucking tiny. Where that no one's gonna want to fucking let me pay card or Apple Pay, are they? I'm gonna need cash, hard, guala, moolah, yazula. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna go outside now. Let's get in a fucking bolt. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I was fucking stressing. I've been stressing my fucking little head off uh, for no reason, okay? Whatever goes wrong in life, I'm sure I can figure it all out. This is what we've got a British Embassy for. <laughs> Imagine. Excuse me, I, I, I can't seem to get the money out of my bank. <laughs> They'll say, fuck off, mate. I'm trying to fucking solve real issues out here. Anyway. Shut up, Mashtag, you fucking bellend. Let's get straight into this bitch. What is the temperature? 31 flipping bastard degrees, mate. And it's 7 o'clock at night and there's no sun. That's absolutely fucking chicken oriental mental. Here he is. Fucking he's got the blue lights like he's really need for speed in this sun. Woo! Fancy, schmancy. Thanks straight in there, again. Oh. Oh, son. Stop it off. Bang. Yes, my guy, are you okay? Crowd is the crab. Crowd crab. I fucking forgot it for a second then. Crab. <laughs> you okay? Uh, I need to check in. Oh, okay. Passport, yes, no problem. Well, so I actually booked this place because it says it's got a gym, but the problem is that's the gym, the one treadmill and one. Uh, bike <laughs> that'll do me okay is that it need anything else oh you want me to choose my breakfast yeah. now okay um we'll go for this rice soup okay rice soup that sounds weird <laughs> okay let's go okay perfect what floor am i on which floor we have you third floor. Third floor, okay, cool. Yes. Perfect. And to the first time to Chiang Mai? Yes, first time Chiang Mai, yes. Wow. Is there anything that you recommend that I should do? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things. A lot of things, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll try a lot of things. <laughs> oh, oh, very cold, love it. <laughs> See, there we go, you can have the air conditioning on before you get in. 
Amazing. Okay, is this free? No? Yes. Okay. Oh, amazing. Yes. Good house, good here. I like this place. This way, in a safety box. If you want to use this, contact me. If one of cafe, I give you a key. Okay, I'll be okay. I'll trust you. This is your key card. And you want me to help something or any question, number zero. Okay, amazing. Thank and you very much. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Oh, she's right, sweetheart. I didn't know if it was a bloke at first. <laughs> it's like, it looked like a girl or a teenage boy, didn't it? Anyway, let's have a look. Well, you've just seen the room. It's See, that's a fucking great touch. Yeah, put the aircon on for your customer before they turn up, do you know what I mean? So they can have a fucking nice experience. This place is nice, man. Look at those fucking pillows, mate. They look like this. This is what I pay for. Do you know what I paid for this hotel room? Let me have a look. I'm pretty sure this was... It was about 120 quid for three nights so 40 quid a night bro okay i mean i'm a bit annoyed about the two single beds not being a double bed but we're not gonna let that ignore us look even this little touch here ooh, i don't think i've ever seen anyone uh origami the bath mat before it's a nice touch shower ooh, that's not my favorite shower but that'll do and then i think we've got a balcony nope we haven't it's just a window <laughs> okay so we're gonna Settle for half an hour and just fucking relax. And we'll try and plan something a bit more, a bit more spontaneous and crazy for tomorrow. But yeah, I know, I know today was isn't been the most fucking epic vlog of all time. But do you know what I mean? If it, if you want me to vlog every fucking day, there's gonna be days where shit goes fucking tipsy turby, big bag of shit, and oh, oh, that's so fire. That is so fire. Yeah, so some days are gonna be shit, I'm sorry. It's the bank card that's broken, not the way I'm trying to put it on. So somebody back in the UK has tried to put money onto my bank card, still doesn't work. So as the travel card, you're shit, mate. You don't work, I can't even top it up. It's a joke, your systems are down, you're a bunch of jokers, mate. I've got 560 bar left, which is about 12, 13 quid. This is like having one 10 pound note. <laughs> Obviously, I can still pay Apple Pay, but I'm, I'm basically fucking stranded, mate, with no cash at the moment. I've got a bank card in the UK, and I've sent somebody right now to go to DHL Express and say, fucking get this to flipping Bangkok, wherever I am, not Bangkok. No, send it to Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok's already got enough of my fucking shit. <laughs> send it to Chiang Mai. Next day delivery, bing bang bong. I used to work for the HR and I'm sure they can, if you send it today, they can fucking get it to me before nine o'clock in the morning tomorrow, I think. It might take another day actually. But yeah, so I don't know what to do. I'm gonna save the cash as much as I can and try and only spend um, card. But so tomorrow I'm gonna go to a fucking, I don't know, Try and shake hands with an elephant because there's apparently elephant sanctuaries. But for now, I'm gonna go to 7 Eleven, get some snacks, and I'm gonna fucking have a night in because I know I can pay cash at 7 uh, Not cash, don't fucking spend the cash, stupid twat. I know, <laughs> I know I can spend the card on 7 Eleven and then I can save the cash. Nice night in, wake up early, you know what I mean? Go fucking have a fucking headbutt, fucking some elephants, mate. Bang! He's looking at me horrible, man. You why, why are you going on holiday with that big trunk, mate? Bang! <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much for watching. Everyone that likes, comments, subscribes, it means the fucking world to me. We just hit 50k subs by the time I'm filming this. I, I will be doing more giveaways. I'm gonna fucking come and bring people along with me on these journeys as well, eventually. But for now, stay safe, love you, shout out your mom, shout out your dad. Like I say, tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna try and make it a lot more fucking full of stuff. But today, I just got too pissed. I got on over, I'm sorry, and the money situation's just fucked me, bro. You should have seen me, the, the, the moment it happened, I was so buzzing, I'm like, <laughs> I'm so drunk and buzzing, I'm like, oh, I've lost my wallet. Oh, and I suddenly wasn't even drunk anymore. I'm like, I've lost my wallet. I've lost my fucking wallet. That's what's fucked. Anyway, fuck all that. Tomorrow's good vibes only, baby. Shout out your mum and your dad.